Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Friends, it's been wonderful talking about the victorious living. Today we are going to wrap that session up. And I'm believing God that you will move from wherever you are now to where God wants you to be victoriously, triumphing in all things, in all ways. Let's pray. Father, we are grateful for your grace. And we are grateful that you are still in love with us in spite of everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that is part of this and everyone listening to us. We pray victorious life. Let it be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Friends, remember our text is 1 John chapter 4, I mean chapter 5, verse 4 to 5. And we read it at the beginning of Monday. We read it from the Message Bible translation. Today, I want to read it from the easy to read version. Easy to read version. The Bible says, Because everyone who is a child of God has the power to win has the power to win against the world. It is our faith that has won the victory against the world. So, who wins against the world? That's the question. Only those, only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Friends, believing that Jesus is the Son of God is like a visa to victorious life. And that's why in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 from 17 and 18, the Bible says there, I'm still reading the easy to read version. The Bible says, the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And our faces are not covered. From now on, your faces will not be covered. You will not cover your face in shame. You will not cover your face in, in, in any form of despair. And you will not be hopeless in any of your acts in the name of Jesus. Our faces are not covered. We all show the Lord's glory. And we are being changed to be like Him. This change is in us brings more and more glory. Which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. Friends, what are we saying? Why are we saying that, oh, we are changed, we get better? Why? Because if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, you connect with the power that made Jesus, Jesus. That's why we are called Christian, Christ-like. And that's why the Bible says, in, and I conclude with this, and I need you to meditate on this. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2, reading from the easy to read version, says, we have all these great people around us, are as, as examples their lives tell us what faith means so we too should run the race that is before us and never quit we should remove from our lives everything that will slow us down lack of faith disbelief inappropriate ordinances if you begin to connect with the spirit of god working this within Ah, oh friends, hear what the Bible says again. It says, anything in our life that will slow us down and the sin that could often make us fall, we must never stop looking to Jesus. He is the leader of our faith and he is the one who makes our faith complete. He suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shape of the cross as if it were nothing because of the joy he would see waiting for him. Hallelujah, friends. That is the picture. When you connect with Jesus, he be, his faith, his victory, you receive the victory, you walk his walk, you talk his talk, because he begins to walk in you. Where the Lord is, his spirit is there, and the Lord is the spirit, and there's always freedom. Freedom to live life and enjoy life. I'm believing God for you. That no matter what the world brings, you will be victorious in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers.